Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy is Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 Coastal Call Us episode. Today, we are here at the Polito Bay Coast Guard Station, and we're actually going to be doing a boat rescue mission today, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and get ready. Now, this is actually my favorite Coast Guard station that comes with Coastal Call Outs because it just, it looks, just looks amazing. Look at it. None of this stuff is here in Grand Theft Auto 5, and it's all added in through Coastal Call Outs. So, it's pretty awesome. Definitely is my favorite station. So, let's go ahead and head inside and Get our boat crew ready to go out. Now, if you guys have no idea what Coastal Callouts is, it's an up to upcoming mod. It's still in beta testing now, but if you would like to get early access to it, you could do so by joining the Parks Benefactor program, which is linked down below in the video description. So, we have a couple of different boats here. This is our response boat medium. Uh, we're not going to take that out today, though. So, let's go ahead and head inside. We're going to take out the big boy today, the motor life boat. So, we're going to be taking out. And it just looks awesome. Look at this patch. This is amazing. Very, very nice. But anyway, guys, we're not going to really have enough time to do a full tour. We do have to go ahead and rescue somebody. We have a report of a sinking ship. So let's go ahead and get on board our boat. And let's figure out what type of ship is sinking. And we're going to try to go out and see if we can make some rescue. So we're going to be part of a search team today, guys. We're going to be... Um, uh, it's going to be multiple boat crews out. There's going to be helicopter crews, and they're also going to be a C-130 flying around as well. So lots of people are out there in the middle of nowhere, and we're going to try to rescue them. Uh, weather is not good, as you guys can see. It's raining pretty hard. Waves, uh, the waves and the tide is pretty high. So it's going to be it's going to be challenging. We're going to try to get there as soon as possible to see if we can make these rescues. So anyway, welcome aboard our motor lifeboat. You can see we have our crew here standing by. The more eyes, the better. So we can hopefully locate all of the missing people here. But yeah, guys, again, welcome back to Coastal Callouts. Do me a favor if you're watching this right now. Go ahead and hit that like button, guys. And let's go ahead and get this episode started. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm just doing a quick walk around, making sure our ship is ready to go. Let's head down the stairs really quickly. Okay, so these are our passenger compartments here. Don't mind the water flooding. But those are our passenger compartments. There we go. Now, we're going to actually control the ship from up here. This is the main area they control the, the boat from, actually. So we're going to go ahead and sit down. And we are now ready to row. So, yeah, we're all going to get pretty much soaking wet today. Only one guy is, like, inside. He got the best seat in the house right there in the middle. But the rest of us, we're all going to get soaked. Uh, if you guys look in the background, you also see a Defender Class boat as well with the machine gun mounted on front which is pretty cool so anyway guys let's get ready to roll let's um check our information and let's see where exactly we're going to be going dispatch to all coast guard units we have an sos call off the west coast all units respond all right guys so we just got our call let's go ahead and start rolling out here so the signal was received at 1755 off the west coast. We're going to be looking for a 79 meter long vessel. Seven people are believed to be uh, on board. Alright guys, I'm going to rewind the time a little bit because I didn't really want to go out with so much sun like that. So yeah, we're going to rewind it to about 1600 and let's go ahead and start making our way out right now. But yeah, the the waters are rough right now guys this is gonna be a good one now we do also have lights on this as well as a siren I'll turn the siren off but we'll leave the uh, flash and or the rotate and blue lights blue light on there as you can see the beacon and um, yeah it's gonna be a pretty long pretty long ride now like I said guys it's gonna be an extensive search uh, we do have seven people we're gonna be looking for uh, there goes the update again so we're going to have seven people we're going to be looking for. We're going to be using other Coast Guard boats, helicopters, and uh, airplanes as well to try to rescue these people. So hopefully we will rescue everybody. Now, I haven't used the Motor Life boat in a really long time, but um, it has been updated since the last time we used it. And this thing drives really nice. It's 
It's a lot faster. Seems a little bit more agile as well. Definitely is a nice update there. But uh, yeah, guys, we got a while to go, so let's just hang out and chat. Make sure you guys hit the like button, leave some comments down below, and um, let me know if you guys are enjoying this episode. Of course, if you guys would like to see more Kosu callouts episode, let me know, and um, always give some suggestions on what you guys would like to see as well. Do a little bit of first person here. Uh, another cool fact about this boat, actually, um, they do call it the motor life boat because pretty much this thing could survive almost anything. Like, if it flips over, it will self ride itself. It's, uh, a lot of the Coast Guard boats are self riding, so if it flips over, it would, like, flip itself back over, which is pretty cool. Wow, these waves are crazy, especially in first person, guys make sure our crew is uh, strapped in there especially the ones out there in the front and the ones back there as well behind us <laughs> that's just such a weird view alright seven people we're four minutes in guys we still have a ways to go we still have a ways to go so let's probably uh, fast forward a little bit and uh, we'll try to get to the search area Alright guys, so we made it into the search area, and oh my god, the, the water out here is absolutely crazy, guys. <laughs> it's been a while since I did a boat rescue in these types of conditions. Man, this is crazy. Yo, look how high the waves are right now, guys. Oh man, okay, here we go, we're going down. I think we may have to bring our crew inside for safety. This is... Oh, this is much worse than I thought it was, thought it was gonna be. All right, so we're gonna have to uh, get some more units out here for sure. So let's bring up our Coast Guard menu and we're gonna go to search and we're gonna request a search plane. Attention I think we're gonna request two units search planes, guys. Off the western coast. And we're gonna request some other we're boats and, moving in. Over. and a request two helicopters as well. So we got two planes, two helicopters, and two other boats searching. Oh, they found somebody already. They found somebody already, guys. Oh, that was fast. All right, let's get to this location. One of the other boat crews already found somebody, so we're going to try to get over there and make the rescue here. Oh, they found two people already, guys. Oh, okay. We got possibly two out of seven. Now, we got to get there fast because they can drift. They can drown. Oh my god, they are finding everybody fast today, guys. Okay, so the, the boat must be over there because everybody's being found in that same general location. So let's get over there as fast as we can right now, guys. This is crazy, though. These waves are ridiculous. Alright, so they spotted four out of seven people. That's awesome. Now, hopefully we could get there before the current takes them out further into sea here. Oh, I see a boat. Is that is that the ship we're looking for? I see something out. Oh no, that's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock, SpongeBob. It's a rock. I don't know if you guys remember that episode. No, it is a boat. Is it? It is. Okay. So we found what we're looking for. Oh my God, my my um my computer is so dirty. My monitor. I thought. It was a rock on the map because um I have like a spot there on my monitor. So we found the boat. Oh man, that thing is tossing and turning right now. Okay, so the boat is right there. We're gonna have to remember this location because we're gonna have to come back for that. So let's mark the boat as being right here. And we're gonna try to get to the people now. I can't believe my monitor is that dirty. I really thought it was a, a rock there because I was looking on my map. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so we're going to get back over there. I want to get these people out of the water first. The other remaining three people, they could be in the water or they could be on the boat. We're going to have to just try to figure that out here. All right, so here's the first person, second, third, and fourth. Now also this green area is the search area. We could expand the search area, but I'm gonna keep it just like this for now because so far we already found the boat 
and we already found four people in this area so the other three people are most likely close by so let's keep our eyes open guys we also do have a camera as well and uh looks like we're getting a heat signature right over there we got one in the water guys to our right let's go ahead and make the grab now you guys are gonna also see the other boats and the other airplanes flying around as well the helicopters too Oh, here he goes right here. Or she. Alright, so what we're gonna do, let's get our life preserver ready. And I'm gonna try to throw it here. Why do I have a gun in my hand? I want the gun, I want the preserver. There we go. Okay, we got it. Alright, so let's go ahead and make the throw here. Alright. Oh, good throw, good throw. Okay, we got him, we got him. Let's pull him in. You guys see, we got him. He's kind of upside down, but it's okay. So we're pulling him in. Come on, guys, pull. Pull, pull him in, get him in, get him in. Now we gotta also get to the other people which are gonna be right behind us here. Let's also use the camera while that's doing that. Let's use the camera, just do another search. Oh, here we go, everybody's directly behind us. So I got three other heat signatures behind us. Okay, so we got Eddie, Eddie's in our boat. We got him down into the, um, passenger compartment so let's go towards the next next location now now I'm, I'm really excited we found we found the person so fast whoa because like i said sometimes it takes like 20 to 30 minutes just to find the first person on the boat so i cannot believe we found the first person so fast oh there goes the c-130 c-130 searching all right, next person should be around here somewhere. Let's bring up the camera. Oh, everybody's here, guys. We are so lucky right now. We have a visual, moving in. We are really lucky, guys. Okay, I guess these people are lucky too. There's a boat. All right, they should be right in front of us right now. Straight ahead. Oh, they dropping flares. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, I got one in the water. I got a flare here too. So let's go ahead and make the throw here. Alright, she's gonna be able to swim to it. Come on, come on. Alright, she can't. Alright, let me go ahead and get another one. Oh my god, it looks like she may be drowning soon. I gotta make sure I'm not trying to shoot them up right here. Alright, let's. Oh man, is she going? Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. I may have to grab her. She doesn't seem like she can swim too well. Alright, let's pull it in. Pull it in. It's gonna go right by her if we're pulling in correctly. She's gonna be able to grab it. Oh, this is crazy right now, guys. This is crazy. Alright, we're pulling in. The life preserver. China. Oh, can she, can she grab it? Can she grab it? Yes, she got it. Pull her in. Pull her in. Pull her in. Get her in, guys. Get her in. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Okay, we got her. Okay, so she's in. So we rescued two people so far. We're gonna have our crews attend to them, and looks like we got more people right over here as well. I think there's a boat in the water by us as well. Oh, there's another guy right on that flare. We almost missed him. Good thing we doubled back and checked. Uh, I think that was a bad throw. Oh, this guy is holding the flare. I didn't even see... Oh my god. I didn't even see that at first. First I saw the flare, but I didn't see him holding the flare. Right. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Yes, we got him. Pull him in, guys. Pull him in, pull him in, pull him in. Alright, here comes a helicopter. We have a visual on the target. Oh, two helicopters, so we, we are doing a great job today, guys. Is in the water off the west coast. 
Oh wow, we have two Jayhawks with the 100 year anniversary. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's pull this guy up. Alright, we got him rescued. Let's do another search with the camera here. So we got one there. And I think two over there. Alright, let me grab this one to our left. Oh, <laughs> we still got the flare going on. Alright, where is this guy? Where is he? Where is he? Anybody see? Anybody can see what's going on? Alright, and the camera we trust. Got him. Alright, it's gonna be a lady white shirt. She's in white. I keep pulling out my gun. There we go. Alright, here we go. Good throw, good throw. short back throw back show yo she's literally disappearing in the water this is crazy can't even see her right now I really can't see her where did she go oh there she goes there she goes all right let's try one more time perfect we got her we got her Right, let's pull her in. While we're pulling her in, let's just keep searching. We got something over here. And we got two over there. Three over there, I think. Oh, I think these guys... Oh, that's a helicopter. <laughs> I thought they were in a life preserver or a life raft for a second. Alright, so she's in. We currently got four. Four of the people... It looks like everybody else. We got the f the first four people that the helicopters uh, that the helicopter found and the first boat crew found. I haven't seen the other boats, by the way, too. I guess they're all out searching still. So let's go ahead and head towards the next location now. I hope we're not leaving anybody behind here. Damn, these waves are crazy right now guys if you guys are enjoying this video and you have not hit the like button please go ahead and hit the like button make sure you guys leave some comments as well a lot of you guys have been asking me to do some more coast guard videos so of course we gotta hit you guys with some new videos all right so we're 16 minutes into the rescue we're doing great so far I'm telling you guys, it is not always this easy. Like, this call is normally much harder. <laughs> we got lucky today. Alright, so here's the boat again. See anybody here? Let's see the let's see their boat. I don't see any people here. Alright, watch these last three be the hard ones to find. Uh, we do have a confirmed sighting over here. So we should maybe should head to that confirmed sighting. This sighting may have just been for the boat. Cause I'm not seeing anything in the water. Oh wait, did I speak too soon? We got something over there. Kind of far. Alright, let's head in that direction. I think that's the other thing on the map anyway. So yeah, let's head in this direction, see if we can find them. Alright, so so far our crew that's working on the patients have all four patients in stable condition. Um, we have them warmed up. Obviously, they're in this freezing cold water, so hypothermia is a real possibility there. Yo, these waves are getting out of control. For real. Nearly 
20 minutes into the rescue. Started off good. We're getting a little bit cold now. Alright, hopefully everybody's somewhere over here. Let's check our camera again. Alright, right in front of us. Dispatch, we have a visual. Moving in. Alright, we located them. I still can't see them yet. Oh, we passed them. Okay, I think we got all three right over here, guys. Oh, look at that C-130 coming in. I love the C-130. Look at that nice low pass there. That is awesome. That was awesome. Alright, let's find this person now. Right over there. Now, do you guys think we should get in the water and try to make a rescue? That would probably be a crazy idea, but just so you know, give you guys some more action. <laughs> oh, that, what kind of throw is that? current is literally pushing us like crazy right now. I try to just... Oh! Did he just start drowning? No, he's okay, he's okay. They could drown in this too, guys. Alright, let's start reeling it in. Alright, as long as I keep the boat somewhat stable here... Yep, he got it. Let's pull him in. So let's go ahead and find out where the next two people are while we're pulling him in. Alright, right over there, guys. Right there. Let's also mark it on our map. Okay, we got it marked. Okay, he's in. We got about two more people that are unaccounted for. It should be over here. them. I'm happy we found them before it started getting dark. It would have been even harder at night. And I see them. Let's use our camera. Are they that far up? Alright, that's one person. I feel like one of them was close to them. Yep, they were. We passed them. Alright. Let's go after this person that we passed first, and then we'll go after the last person. And it should be right here somewhere. We have a visual. Moving in. Alright, the crew has a visual. I don't see them yet, but the crew sees them. That is hard. Where is he? Hope I'm not on top of him. Oh, we keep passing this guy. Where is he? The waves really make it hard to see because they could like be behind one of these waves. Like he could be. Oh, there they go, right there. Okay, here we go. Make the throw. Oh my God, we cannot throw today. I right, was try to wrap around and get him. Get that. Let's throw another one. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know what it is today, but my throwing is off. But I think we could pull it in and get him though. This is some crazy waves right now, though, guys. This is insane. Come on, 
Where's the preserver? Why is it so far out? I get. Uh, I think the current is pushing him closer to us. Whoa! Where did he go? Oh, it was right there, right there. Oh, he went under. He went under. Where did he go? Where did? He? Okay, go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, rescued him. Perfect. All right, last person should be behind us. Oh no, in front of us. All right, let's get that last person. It should be directly in front of us. So we do have other boat crews in the area as well. The other crews are going to secure the ship and make sure that there's no other people on the ship or near the ship. But the report was for seven people. Everybody that we rescued confirmed that it's seven people. So we should be okay here. Okay, now just for the heck of it, this is probably going to be a bad idea. But let's just uh, get into the water just for the heck of it. <laughs> this is going to be a terrible idea though. So let's go ahead and store our boat. Now we're gonna go ahead and make this rescue ourselves. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna be a bad idea, guys. Let's uh let's put some flippers on. That will probably help out a little bit. Oops. Okay, we got our flippers on now. Alright, I'm uh I'm going in got oh no. Oh, I didn't mean it. You guys good? It was it was seven of you guys, right? Seven in total? Only one person is missing? Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's go grab that last person. I didn't mean to come down here, but since we were down here, we might as well talk to them. Alright, let's uh, try to get out. There we go. Alright, let's try to find her now, because I kind of lost our bearing. I think she's in front of us. Oh, I see her, I see her. Alright, I'm going in. I should have recorded that. <laughs> that would have probably been cool. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, shoot, she's really close. Let's make sure we don't drown too. Imagine we did all this work and then we drown because we want to have a heroic rescue at the end. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Grab, got it, got it, got it. Let's bring her up, bring her up out of the water. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's get her into the boat. Okay, she's in. She gotta kind of sit outside because we're out of seats. <laughs> but she's in, guys. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves up. All right, so we're out of seats inside, so she kind of has to sit right there. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and make our way towards the uh, station. Try to get them out of here. So let's see. The nearest drop-off. We could drop them off here. Or we could drop them off where we originally started at. Let's see if everybody's in stable condition. If they are, we'll drop them off at the uh, Coast Guard station. If they're not in stable condition, then we'll try to get them to uh, the nearest drop off, which is be right here. So let's see what the rest of our crew says. Oh, I always forget to uh, unstore it slash anchor it. All right, so we got all everybody. Um, the other units have confirmed that the boat is clear. And we have everybody that was reported missing on the boat. So we're going to go ahead and make our way towards the, uh, back to the station. It's going to be a pretty long ride, but, um, we'll probably fast forward again. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I think that's the fastest we ever rescued so many people. Seven people rescued in, like, less than 30 minutes. Seems like the boat was actually easier than a helicopter. Because a helicopter, you get there faster, but the hoisting takes long. And then, I guess when you're in the water searching, I it guess it's kind of hard to... Sometimes you'll drop right on the person, but then the, the waves and the current will separate you. And you gotta try to find them again. But, um, yeah. I love how these guys are just holding on, though. You good, bro? This guy got whiplash. <laughs> Everybody got whiplash after today. I 
All right, we still got a while to go there, guys. So let's uh, see what happens here. All right, guys. So we made it uh, back to the station before sundown, which is awesome. And uh, we'll get these people loaded up onto the ambulance, which is currently standing by awaiting the arrival of our patients here. And they'll take them all to the hospital. I love this station though. This looks awesome. Alright, let's bring it in nice and slow. Nice and slow. And there it is. There it is. Alright, so they're gonna get uh, transported one by one. Uh oh. I think the uh, crew got stuck there. They should be able to fix themselves though. There should be two paramedics and they're holding the stretcher and then they kind of walk in. They kind of got stuck there, but they should correct themselves. Come on, guys, you can do it. I believe in you guys. I wonder if I could try to help them out. I don't want to make it worse, though. We still got the thing inside our... Oh, they dropped it. That's cool. They dropped the flare inside. So the flare just sitting inside the boat now. Oh, see, I, I didn't want that to happen. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. There you go. Alright, so they should be able to get in now. Yep, they're good. Perfect. Alright, so they're going to go ahead and uh, get everybody to the hospital. Our job is done for today, so we're going to go ahead and park the boat back up. But like I said, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. Leave some um, comments down below. And let me know what else you guys would like to see in the next Coast Guard episode. Let's make it nighttime. I've never really been here at nighttime. Let's see how it looks. I love the navigation lights, the red and the greens. That responsible medium is awesome there. Everything is lit. Oh, look at the rotating lights on ours. Look how it actually rotates, too. That is awesome. If you turn it off, you don't see it. Turn it on. And it's actually rotating perfectly, too. We do also have more lights on this, too. Like, see, we have, um all these spotlights and everything do you guys think we should we do this again but at night that would be cool we could um turn on all these light oh look at the back lights i didn't even notice those so we got the front light front and the back cool but yeah this would be pretty cool to do but anyway guys let's go ahead and park this thing up it's been a long day Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And, um, yeah, we'll be back with some more very, very soon. 300k. We did it, guys. Thank you guys for 300k as well. 301 now. 301,000 subscribers. Amazing. Alright, so we'll park this up right here. And we'll go ahead and store it. And we'll go ahead and get up. I'm going to change my uh, uniform back to the other one so I don't have the flippers on. There we go. Alright guys, good job, man. Good job navigating. You did a great job, man. Wait, what happened to it? Didn't we have a guy back here? Oh, oh that fell in the water. Wait, I just realized we lost some of our crew. They may have... um. They may have um, got taken off when we did the transport there. They may have went into the ambulance or something. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.